Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at the example mod that ships with the uh, Battalion 1944 development tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is launch it. Uh, I was recording this before we released, so uh, you'll do so via the Epic Games launcher. Alright, so the first thing we get is the new game mod, uh, kind of wizard screen. Uh, we can ignore that for now, we'll click that off. And we'll scroll down to here in the content browser and we'll take a look at the example mod content folder. And we can open up the maps and we can take a look at example mod underscore map. And as you can see, we have a map already set up for you. It includes uh, all the game modes, has uh, cameras, spawns, uh, ladders. Uh, vault volumes here. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, pretty much everything that you might need. So if I zoom out here, you can kind of see what it's made up of. Uh, this piece at the top, if I can select it. Uh, no. Well, this is the uh, the mini map there anyway. Um, cool. So if we come back out a little bit, you can see the loading screens. Just have a loading screen in there. It's called the mod name underscore map underscore loading screen and that'll be all automatically picked up by the game. Uh, let's see, yep, we've got the sub maps with all the uh, different modes. I'll talk about more of that in a minute. And we've got some UI pieces as well um, that are just used, I think it's the mini map here, yeah. Uh, blueprints wise, we've got a crate stack. Uh, we'll go into more detail with this later, but uh, we've also got some other bomb mode, uh, sort of wartide things. It used to be called bomb mode, so we, yeah. Uh, if you see that, just think wartide. And we have our, our sky sphere as well. All right, so not that many things to package and, 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 and get the mod together. Uh, if I click play, uh, let's see. I'll sit here and you can see the defend and capture because I had in world settings CTF game mode ticked. Right, so let's get this uh, into the game. So first thing to do is to click share mod and click example mod. So for this, I'm just gonna use the standalone option and this will package it for uh, a Windows client, a Linux server and a Windows server. Now we could uh, play with the version number here, play with the version name, uh, but we're not, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna click on standalone and I think I have, uh, maybe in here, we'll create uh, my mods. And I'll select that folder and that'll package it. You'll see some warnings. Uh, you can ignore uh, pretty much all of those. Uh, it's just how we've put the project together and it can't find every piece of asset or piece of content in the game uh, because we didn't ship that. Um, but it doesn't cause any issues, so it should say success. You can see that there. It's cooking it for all different platforms. There we go. Done. So now if I go over to my uh, modding folder over here, uh, you can see that we've got my mods and it packages it into a bmod uh, extension file. Now this is really just a zip, so we can extract that out. And you can see that there's a uplugin file, uh, content packs, and we've got a folder for each platform. So if you were distributing um, to just players and you've got a fairly large mod, or maybe either way really, you wanna, you wanna save them um, disk space. So you could get rid of these two and uh, you could just send them this if you were, if you were sending it uh, manually. Windows No Editor is just the uh, client uh, content here. Um, and if you wanted to obviously give them the rest of the files so they could uh, host it on their own servers, then you do that too. But consider the context in which you're giving it to them. All right, so to get this uh, running in our client, we could double click on this. Uh, you can see how it's got like a look very faint, but you can see a, a battalion uh, little uh, man there. Um, that's because I've ran battalion at least once. And it registers the .bmod extension with 
uh, the client's PC and it will know what to do when we double click it. So you could double click this and it would say, do you want to install it? I'm going to click no because I'm going to show you the manual way just so you understand what the, uh, the installer does. So I'm going to click close on that and I'm going to bring up my Steam uh, install folder over here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and if we go into Battalion, and you can find the, button where the, the folder where binaries is, we can just create a folder called Mods. And we can copy and paste the example mod into there. Cool, so that's all we should have to do for the client. So to test that that's working, uh, we should run it like so. Okay. So I'm recording this uh, before our release, so this is the early access uh, version of Battalion, but they'll both load the mods uh, the same. Okay, just turn down the sound here so we don't have to hear that. Okay, and if we go into play, it'll be a relatively uh, similar process with the release version. I think the UI looks slightly different. And we'll click create LAN and you should see example mod map. And we should be able to play on Wartide if we wanted to. You can see our loading screen. All right, great. And this would just be the uh, ready up time. So if I quit this, or in fact, if I disconnect and just leave that down there for the minute. Now, uh, on the server side, I'll do what we tend to do on uh, Windows servers. So let's see, uh, over here. And we downloaded uh, Steam command for this particular example. And you can find this on Valve's uh, developer community website. Just search for Steam command and you can download it uh, let's see here. Okay, and uh, the same would go for Linux too. So here we go. And then when you first start, um, it will look like just the exe on its own once you've extracted it. And then it will update, download a load of files, and you can then simply run it if it's not already running already. And I have some commands here. So you would then go to login anonymous. And then you would go app update 805140. Great, well, I've already done it, but for you, it would uh, download our dedicated server files, which then can be found in Steam Apps, Common, uh, Battalion 404 dedicated server. And then obviously we've got all of our different versions in there. And you can go Windows, Battalion, and very similar to as you did with the uh, client, we can, Type mods and make a new folder called mods, and we can copy our example. Oh, not that, uh, nearly. Let's see. Um, I have to go find this again uh, because I had it up here before. Let's see. Um, my mods. So I'm going to control C that and I'm going to paste it in there. Cool. And this will load the Windows Server content here in that pack file. Okay, so let's dive back out. I think we ship a run dot back. Here we are. So if I edit this, I'll bring that over. Um, so my my local IP uh, for this machine is this. So I put it up there in set external IP. If I expand this, it looks more like a regular command line. So I've got the IP there. And uh, usually this is disregarded. It's just somewhere for the uh, initial startup of um, UE4 to think that it's going to a map and then our uh, game mini file will override it and go to whatever you've got set up in there. But that's all you need, should be all you need to do. So I'm gonna close this, uh, double click run here. Yeah, that's an error that happens every time. It's nothing to do with uh, your machine. Okay, so now that's running, we should be able to go back to the client here. 
and type connect your local IP address. Uh, I think that should be all we need to do. Let's see if that will work. Oh, I've got it wrong. Uh, I've got pin 42. There we go. Great. So I'm pretty sure that's worked. Now, one thing to note, and I may have reverted that here, I'm not sure, um, but in our run.bat, we are opening the default game.ini, and then if we take a look at that, you'll see uh, be here, admin steam ID. So this is my steam ID, um, and for you, that'll be all zeros. So make sure that it's uh, got your valid steam ID inside it. And once you do that, you can open up the console and type server, and you'll know if, if you've got it in there correctly or not, because you'll get the yellow highlighted server commands that you won't get when you're a, uh, just a lowly player. Um, and if we type, not add bot, but change map, and you can see at the top, we auto-complete uh, a few maps already. So we've got uh, our mod one there as well for wartide. WRT means wartide, so let's just go to that. Great, nice and fast to load. And there it is. So that should be a fairly quick overview on how to get it working. Obviously, the same um, uh, the same thing applies for Linux servers. Um, pretty much exactly the same. Um, just make sure you've got that Linux server content folder in there, and that should be everything you need. Um, let's maybe do an example of where the client might not have the mod. So in this case, the mod isn't on Steamworks. Uh, so with that in mind, let me go and find my local files again. Let's uh, close this. Delete the mod. And then run it again. Okay, and then uh, if we type, try and connect to our server one more time, it tells us that we're missing a server mod. Um, now, if you think it's erroneous or being uh, saying the wrong thing, uh, which it shouldn't do, but if it does, then you can decide to join anyway, and you'll likely be kicked from the game for, for not having the, the right content. Um, but otherwise, we would not be able to join. We would need uh, the example mod from maybe, you know, uh, maybe the modder has hosted it somewhere or, or distributed it via forums or, or whatnot. Um, and as you can see, it tells us that the, the mod package is not available by the Battalion Workshop, but if it was, we could uh, choose to, to download it and then we'd be able to join the server. All right, cool. Well, that's it for this video. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.